equally noticed that we were just hello you guys welcome back to our channel if this is your first time here welcome um feel free to like comment and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video when i post one which is going to be every wednesday at 2 o'clock p.m all right so what are we talking about today well in the last video i talked about the very first change i made after having a relationship with christ now today i'm going to be talking about the second thing i changed after having a relationship with christ and you guys so the first thing the first thing was changing my mindset and that literally changed my life <laughs> so after i changed my mindset i needed to get around people and things that were going to be able to fuel this new mindset I needed to ensure that the things I had around me were sharpening me because the Bible says the iron sharpens iron so I needed to make sure that my circle the, the things and the people that I was around um, really did that for me so the second thing that I changed was my environment it had to change it just needed to change um, so the first thing that I addressed when changing my environment was social media and the music that I listen to on a regular basis. Um, so with social media, there were certain accounts that I was following that whenever I saw something they posted, it wasn't a positive response from me. So I had to either mute them, I had to unfollow them, and if it was really that bad, like if I was following so many people, I probably needed to do a little fast from social media. I um, I just really wanted to make sure that what I was taking in was positive things. It was things of Christ. So even on social media, I wanted to make sure that I was following accounts that posted scriptures, that posted biblical sayings, because I needed to make sure that this new mindset was not getting corrupted by messiness or um just gossip and things of that nature i really wanted to streamline my environment so i even did that with the music that i listened to and i know i'm not against listening to secular music that's just not my personal thing but in this space i was a babe in christ i was not strong enough to withstand like the temptation of other types of music so i needed to cut i needed to really streamline my music so that it could only be things that were benefiting for this new mindset so um i definitely had to um take a break from anything that wasn't gospel and actually, so there's this radio station I listen to, and they have, I think they do this yearly or a couple times a year where they give out this challenge to listen to nothing but gospel music for 30 days and see how it changes your, um, see how it changes your mood and just your days. And honestly, it makes a difference. Like the music really does make a difference. So. I changed what I was seeing on social media, what I was following on social media, and I changed the type of music that I was listening to to ensure that I was giving my body what it needed, I was giving my mind what it needed to really take this journey with um, Christ or really take this relationship with Christ seriously. That's the first thing that I had to address. The second thing, the second thing that I had to address were the people around me and I'm not saying oh you just cut off all of your friends and no 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 I'm saying be mindful of the events that I was going to so um, of course I was in school so I was going to wherever I needed to go with school and um, I was being mindful 
I don't want to be the person that's being messy or the person that's talking about um, the others. So I wanted to make sure that if that, if that group of people were doing that, I didn't want to be a part of that. I also wanted to, um, even outside of school, like going to clubs, going to environments that weren't going to fuel this new mindset, I was not here for it. I, I could not because that was going to set me back. It was going to, um, like I said, I'm, I was still a babe in Christ. I was this this relationship was new so I needed it I needed to cater to it as if I catered to an infant right I didn't want to give it things that weren't going to be nourishing for um, this 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 relationship but I did start going to more of events like small groups or where I knew that there were going to be people who were like-minded um, and it made a difference and that, that doesn't mean that you only go to church events like you can go to fashion shows you can go to painting uh, paint and sips you can go to the gym you can, like so I just replace those negative things or things that would have triggered negative responses for me with things that triggered positive responses so it's not about only putting yourself in a box of one thing but it's really being mindful and being intentional about okay this isn't gonna feed this isn't gonna feed my spirit well. So I can't I can't indulge in this anymore. But I can replace it with something else. This fun and this this thing for me was um moving out. So I'm not saying everyone should move out. <laughs> I'm not saying this. But for me in my personal situation at that point, um I was cohabitating with a significant other and as I was embarking on my journey with Christ and um really taking steps in that direction, I noticed and it was equally noticed that we were just unequally yoked. And um it wasn't a benefit for me to stay in that situation so this living arrangement obviously was my housing it took a lot of faith it took a lot from that first step that first change it took a lot in my mindset to say hey you know what this is what I need for Christ um this isn't what I need for the relationship that I put above everything else so I'm gonna have to step out on faith with this one and it was not easy and I'm gonna be honest with you that this this last step that I had to address of moving out was one of the hardest things that I had I've had to do um, I had to risk homelessness um, I had to risk not having my physical needs met as far as housing and food and new expenses that I took on and again I'm not telling saying that this is a cookie cutter answer for everybody I'm just giving you my system on what I went through and it will it paid off for me um i believe when you step out on god in really big ways he'll show up in really big ways and i stand firm on that because i lived it um and i believe that he can do the same thing for you all too so um if you're watching this video and you you saw my first change was to change the mindset you feel like you've already started on that journey and you really want to figure out what's next hopefully this video helped to see like hey maybe it's time to address our environment now who am i around what are they fueling me because what you put in you is coming out of you i really really believe what you put in you is coming out of you and that's why it's so important to quickly address the environment you don't want to get caught up in um in putting things in you that are not good that is not good for the new mindset that, that you just gained so make sure you like comment subscribe and again once we get to 100 subscribers we are doing a giveaway so i'm so excited i really enjoy giving you all my experiences and breaking it down one step at a time really making it feasible like it's not hard it's just taking one step and being willing being an open vessel for christ and i believe that's our purpose it's just beautiful to see god's work 
and um i'm gonna keep putting these videos out and i will see you guys in the next one love you so much bye